Hey everybody, it's Richard Wharton again, and uh, this is the fifth air-to-air -air refueling effort that we are going to be working on uh, for demonstration purposes so that you can see how I, as an amateur DCS simmer, uh, follow a process and a protocol uh, and try to uh, connect with a KC-135 tanker so that I can get a full tank of gas uh, inside of an F-16. The purpose behind all this is to do these over and over and over again so that you can learn from my mistakes and maybe your learning curve won't be quite as steep as mine is. Again, I've been doing this for about four or five years. I only learned air, learned air to air refueling this year and um, it's a great skill to, uh, to learn and practice. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we are in my F-16 and we're flying at about 360 knots. Everything's going just fine. Now let's stop right there. Take a look. Let's zoom in. I have turned on the pitch altitude hold and the purpose of this is I want to sort of stabilize before I make my radio call. Okay. Let's get back into the action. Airspeed is about 395 and growing. I'm closing the gap a little bit. Texaco, one, one, in field, one, one, request rejoin. There's the radio call. In field, one, one, Texaco, one, one, proceed to pre-contact at 16,000, at three, five, zero. Okay, now I'll stop right there. You'll see that I pressed, let's zoom in a little bit. I pressed list and two, and I was able to get my fuel status on the DED. So that way I can see the fuel as it uh, gets burned, and I can see the fuel as it comes into the tank. I'm keeping my eye on this. Uh, what I did here is I activated the door to the air-to-air -air refueling canister, and that is this switch right there. I clicked on it once using a uh, bound uh, switch on my Thrustmaster, and now I am ready to go. Let's get back into the action. Okay, I'm going to start slowing down immediately probably was a little bit too aggressive coming back in to merge with the tanker, but I am okay. Bingo. Bingo. Okay, I'm down to 2,000 pounds. Now, watch the fuel flow carefully. You'll see that is an example of my uh, throttle acceleration and deceleration. So I'm holding steady. Closing in. Going to get a little bit closer before I make the final radio call for pre contact. I've got seven minutes and 40 seconds before the tanker turns for base. Ready, pre contact. I've sent the radio call. And on the belly of the KC-135 now, there will be some lights. We can zoom in right now, and the left light is showing. That's the uh, descend or climb protocol. Now again, ignore the boom. Normally, I think it would be popping up before this. All right, so I'm in the green on green. I'm contacted. Let's watch the bingo fuel on the DED. Now I'll take a look at the fuel flow. See how I'm accelerating and decelerating? I'm hanging on. I'm making all sorts of micro adjustments to the throttle and to the joystick. It's almost like I'm just putting just barely enough pressure to feel that joystick. Now one of the other things I'm also looking at is the artificial horizon. See how I'm climbing a little bit too much? I make a micro adjustment and I try to get the wings to line up with the plane, the horizontal plane. Still green on green. I'm at 4,100 pounds. 
look at the throttle. It's up. I'm accelerating. Now it's decelerating. And I am still connected. Airspeed, uh, fuel flow is increasing. There's 5,000 pounds, fuel flow is decreasing. I'm learning how to stay ahead of the jet. I'm a little bit behind. You can listen for it too. See, now I'm backing off a little bit on the throttle. Now I'm, I'm increasing uh, throttle a little bit. Now I'm gonna back off on the throttle. Holy cow, I may pull this off, I'm at 6,300 pounds. Still green on green. I'm still connected to the to the boom. 69. I made it. Disconnect. Holy cow, I made it. There we go, 7150. All right. Whew. That's the first time in a long time that I've never had a disconnect getting fuel from the F-16, from the KC-135. If we take a look at the screen, um, I've got five and a half minutes left on the mission, and by all means, it was successful. So, um, again, I know it's a lot to handle, but think about how we accelerate and decelerate in very gentle um, motions, and we're sort of trying to stay inside that sweet spot on the KC-135 uh, boom operator. And um, I also, you know, you gotta make sure that I mean, you're just barely feeling the pressure on the joystick, just barely. Just a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit there. And with the throttle, I'm a little more graphic with the throttle, but it only amounts to about 900 pounds per hour of acceleration and deceleration between about 35 and 43 uh, uh, hundred pounds per, per per hour on the dial on the right. Anyway, I was excited about this. I had to share it with you, and um, I hope you get something out of it. So let's keep going. Maybe I'll get some more uh, non-disconnect uh, air-to-air refuelings. Thanks for watching, and have a great flight.